Today I'm going to be sprucing up this old fifth wheel I've got here. <clears throat> this is a 94 Alpine Light, uh, 29 foot fifth wheel, and uh, it's it's uh, it's got the old you know cracked decals like they all do. <laughs> um, I don't know why they put decals on these things, but um, anyway, it's a uh, it's all cracked and old, and um, as you can see behind me here. Uh, looks like crap really um, and um, I've had this fifth wheel for about 13 years and um, I've never I'm just now getting around to uh, just sprucing it up here but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to uh, make this thing look a lot better As you can see, uh, these uh, decals are old and faded, and they're cracked pretty badly. You can especially see that here. See all the cracking running through there. And um, uh, I've uh, somebody went through here and put a bunch of silicone all over this rig. And so every place that I'm going to paint it, I've got to go through and remove that silicone. And I've already done that on here just with a... Uh, razor blade and uh, kind of scraped it off and as you can see it like chipped up the chipped up the uh, decals on the end here but it doesn't matter uh, because I'm painting this navy blue and I'm gonna do one big solid wide stripe I'm just gonna cover the whole whole works all the way down and uh, <clears throat> and uh, it's gonna look pretty good at the end um, surprisingly you can see how faded it is up here, but um, so I'm going to go through the process now. You want to go over everything you're going to paint with sandpaper or uh, something like a like a Scotch Brite type deal to uh, scuff it all up, and uh, you don't need to go crazy with it. Just just go over it enough to uh, get a, a little bit rough. You know, you just want to knock off any glossy parts. There might be left and after you get it scuffed up you want to go over it with a <clears throat> some acetone just on a paper towel and uh, you just want to go over it and get it get any kind of grease or oil or anything like that off of it so it's good and dry and clean And after you do that, uh, I'm just going to start taping it off. And uh, I'm going to use news, old newspaper to protect most of this below and above it. And then, uh, and then I'll use a... Uh, I'm just using regular masking tape. You do not need that blue stuff. This stuff works great. Um, and it's about half the price of the blue stuff. Uh, if you put it on right. So anyway, I'm just putting pieces on here that I'm going to use as I put the uh, newspaper up. And I'll show you how to do that to conserve some tape here. So I'm just going to take this tape or this newspaper and I'm going to put it just a, about a half an inch below where the edge of the paint is going to be. And I'm just going to tape that on there with these uh, individual pieces of tape here, just to hold it up there. And I'm going to do that all the way along. And then uh, once I get that up there, then I'm going to take the tape, break off a long piece of it. And then I'm going to very precisely put it right at the edge of this old stripe here and that is where the uh, that's where the edge of the paint is going to go and then you want to push down that edge pretty well and you're just going to do that everywhere, top and bottom, any place you don't want the, uh, anything you don't want painted. 
and this will make a nice clean edge once you do paint it. Now I'll do the same thing on the uh, upper part here. And you just continue doing that all the way down. All right, so it's all taped up now and and sealed and um, just about ready to start spraying here. <clears throat> I just wanted to show you like I went right around these edges here, taped all that so that will not get sprayed all the way around this cargo door. And then uh, got the newspaper hanging down because this, this stuff when you start spraying it, it will uh, drift around and it will fall below it. So you want to have plenty of paper down there to cover that up. <clears throat> And you can see I got these uh, very precise right on the edge of this, where this, uh, the edge of the stripe is. So uh, that's the part you want to be careful on. Because uh, it's really, really easy to, if you put it down wrong, just pull it up and put it right back down in the right spot. Uh, if you leave it, and you do a sloppy job here, it's really going to show once you get the paint on there. And it's going to be real hard to straighten that out. So up in this part, see I'm just going to go over this whole thing. I'm not going to have these individual stripes, I'm just covering the whole thing. One solid stripe. And that's going to go all the way to the front here. This is the paint I'm using. It's Rust-Oleum uh, Navy Blue Gloss Protective Enamel. And uh, this stuff it uh, goes on pretty nicely. You want to shake it up really well. At least a minute, maybe a couple of minutes. You want to do a fairly light first coat. Uh, just, just lightly go over it, the whole thing, and then uh, let it sit for 20 minutes to try to set up. And then you can go over it again, and that way you're gonna, not going to get any runs. Uh, if you're going to get any runs, it's, it's going to happen in the beginning from doing too heavy of a coat the first time. You want to be about a foot to 18 inches away from the painted surface. All right, ready for the second and probably final coat here. <clears throat> Okay, now we'll just uh, let it set up for 20 more minutes and then I'll take the paper off. Uh, you don't want to let that paint dry on the paper too much or otherwise when you when you try to pull it off, it'll pull the paint right off of uh, your painted surface too. And it'll make a big mess. So wait about 20 minutes and then pull it off and then you should be good. So just do a little walk around here. All of this was faded and looking bad. 
but now looks so much better so yeah I'm happy with it 